It's getting harder to bend and more you bend it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I bent it that time. That's felt it. Is right. Yeah. I felt oh, it no. in my bones. So we're trying to shape the round stock that Doug bent yesterday through the roller. The roller only gives like a even bend where the shape that we need flattens out behind the seat. We're trying to create the same shape as the side of the car here. I bent it too much. Did I bent it too much? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where's my loin? It goes back here. That's not that no, bad. That's not no. bad, is it? It's not that bad, no. That's good. No, what you did on your loin, yeah. Let me see your end. Oh, right there. Let me see your chin down here. Is it hitting? Now where you're at? Yeah, it's sitting on top of the metal. All right. I think we have to bend this here. Down and, and and then beat this down. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gonna do one more. All right, one more. See what happens. I'm throwing it all to whack yet, so we'll keep doing it till we do. <laughs> I did throw it to whack a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, it's not hard to do. I can do that just with the roller, man. Throw it all around corners. Just on right on your line there. Yeah, yeah. And straighter and straighter there, one. Mm -hmm. And just the reason I'm trying to match this up is because this is basically we're. Uh, where's my line? I'm going back to here. How you fitting back there, Doug? Hey, not sweet, bad, eh? Not bad. Not bad. Damn. I need a little bit down there. What do you think? Or leave it. That's not bad, eh? Yeah. I'd like to hit it right there. Yeah. Be a good idea. Just make sure. Curvature right there. Actually, that's not. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's sitting on. That's, that's sitting on top that's of good. it. Oh, that this will pretty good. Doesn't that's, it? Gonna, that's good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Here we've got what a quarter eighth on the gap. Yeah, that's good. Got there at all. And now is it straight? Uh, no. No. Not at all. It's not crooked by much. No, it's not. But it looks like a little bit wonky right from the right here. One tip to the other. I want to hold it. I'm gonna put that here. Turn it on the side. Yeah, it's like that. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Come up here. Not bad. Don't look bad. No, nope. it don't look bad. Let's take this here. So that would be going up there like that. But down on that. Mm -hmm. We're up there high on that there. See, we're there because we're setting on this here. Yeah. But I think that's I think that's good. I think that's good. There's one. I'm thinking there's one. It's not, yeah. It's one. Almost not bad. That's ah, 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 one. <laughs> take this off. I want to take a look at it again for straightness. 
No, that'll work. I think it will. Alrighty. That's the bad boy. And what do we got to do to make this one work? Yeah, that one's a ways away from this. <laughs> this one quicker too? I'll be sweet. Yes. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed, man. Wonky wonky. This stuff is heavy stuff. Like, it's not... You think that it's... It's not a jaws pipe. What? It's not a jaws pipe, that's for sure. No, it's not, is it? It's pretty stiff. I'm going to start bending some, I guess. Yeah. And we're fitting good. <laughs> we get a spot. Just a second, I'm going to put it where it fits good. Jesus. Fits good from there to there. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's all it fits good to. Where's the moves? That all has to be straightened out. I'm going to come straighten that out right now. Let's see, see what happens. Oh, oh Tina. Just nicked the paint. Nicked Patina. Patina. Yeah. Patina. A... Patina. Patina. Nope. Turn it this way, makes it easier for me. I'll tell you, you know, just having something stupid like this around. It's pretty damn like, handy. Oh my goodness. That pipe just happens to fit in there and this thing just happens to weigh 10 tons. <laughs> exactly. <coughs> exactly, Doug. I guess you found the perfect pipe for it. So. Well, this stuff is so thick that, I mean, how would you... Yeah. How else would you deal with it? Well, we didn't have to go buy anything either. That's always a bonus. Just walk out the backyard and grab it. This one needed to go up a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. Huh? You have two marks on it somewhere in there. Yeah, right here and there is your only spot. But it's, that end just needs to be straightened out a little bit. I think it's more on that end. It's strengthen, uh, straighten the length of it out. Yeah. Yeah, for a couple and, feet. And how do you roll that in a roller? <laughs> you don't. Like, yeah. It has to be made by hand. It twists so damn bad in that worn out roller that we're using in there. We're using the old rollers from the square stock in the truck, which were wore out. Let's check it out. Yeah, like how would you do that unless you done it by hand? Rollers will work out. Oh, that thing there is bending. That thing's a good workout right there. It's bending nice. Got me sweating. All yeah, I could smell was sweat too, actually. All I could smell was bacon and I got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up and put it on top, please. All right. Yeah. I can straighten a little bit more of that out. And that's got to be bent crooked more. Mm -hmm. So I'll straighten some of this, straighten this. Yeah, that, to get that starts to put herself together. <clears throat> straighten it out and then bend it back a little bit. Yeah, straighten, straighten, bend straighten it. Straighten it out more and then bend it more. We'll go in and out a few times. Oh, that's the way it is, I guess. That's what it is this morning. I think you're doing it like you know what you're doing. So, <laughs> and it's working for you. So I'm going to stand back and say nothing. I'm going to watch you. Well, it's all you I can say, do. Congratulations, right good job, man. <laughs> you got a nice hat on this morning. Thanks, bud. Got it from that hills fellow down the road. <clears throat> Would be nice if that fit right on, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. It's pipe dream. Oh. We're getting closer, Doc. We are. I'm just yeah. going to 
Jeez, you're pretty handy, man. Um, that's what Jolene told me. <clears throat> pretty handy. Is that Check. true? I think if we bend her here, in the middle, might get that. It's gonna do something wrong with that, though, wouldn't it? Once I bend that. Mm hmm. That's pretty straight that. right there for the first yeah. couple feet. That looks good. This right there needs to be bent. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. I still whack it with the hammer. Try it. <laughs> that hammer's the MVP, do you know what I'm saying? It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sure does. It is effective. <laughs> it's effective. <laughs> it needs a bend right here. A couple more slams with hammer. A couple. Not many. Two right there. And then it needs to be bent down there. <laughs> or right there. Let's whack this with a hammer. Make sure it's down on the pole. Uh oh, I'm going to try to bend it right there, and that'll bring that down. And that'll bring, we'll have to play with it a little bit more, I guess. There you go. <clears throat> Come on, darling. We don't want to leave you out. Ooh, new technique. Huh? Nice. <laughs> new technique there. Throwing your old fat gut into it. I did. Jolene's been feeding me at nighttime in bed, and I'm telling you right now. It's not, yeah, it's feed him like bacon grease sandwiches and stuff. Figure. Get him right fat. That'd be funny. <laughs> we fatten you up for winter. <laughs> oh, feeding me ice cream and mm. cookies. Who and doesn't like that stuff? Laying in bed, like, you know what I mean? Oh. Cookies and ice cream. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, so a picture of perfect health after a while. Whoa, do you see what we just got did happened? <laughs> you see that? That looks good. Fantastic. <laughs> got one little spot right here I want to ding-a-ling-a-ding. That looks good. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that's awesome. I thought yeah. that was going to take a lot more time. Yeah, me let's, too. Let's pick her up there, Doug. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I had a harder time with the damn roller than we did beating it with the... Just like, hold it so it's down on the... Down, down in the wood. It don't take much sometimes, but no. sometimes it takes a lot. Oh, you can see it move by the hit every time you're slamming it. All right. That looks good. I'm going to have to this down here. It's got to come down a just little a little high more. right there, yeah. yeah. She still needs to come down. High right there. Bring her up, high. Awesome. Right. Gotta just make sure it's down on the wood. Oh, man. Hey, hey, I like that. That makes me happy. Yeah. It does. I expect that would be their heart. Do a little dance. All right, he's dancing now. He is happy. That makes me happy. Mad Chad don't dance at all. <laughs> <laughs> he gets bloody knuckles. That looks good. I'm happy with that. They look good. So we're going to have one for this side. We'll whack it on. And we're going to have one for this side. And then we wait when they put the roof on. Then we can just lay it down on top of it. And it shouldn't go anywhere. So I'm hoping. We'll end up feeding these on right on here. So they're at the same level there. We'll feed them on there. Down there. Let's, let's, do, let's put one on there. Let's 
Oh my, this one's crooked in the ram's horn. Jesus, oh you're busy. Mm -hmm. I wonder how I'm gonna change that. Holy, especially back here. You almost got the corner, I almost hit the bottom corner of the mountain right there. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna have to fix that. I can put it in the, let's go put it in the old fender. <laughs> back at her again, then we're gonna throw all the whack this time. Well, I can hit with a hammer too, but. I wonder if I can bend it back. I hope it don't take it out of shape, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it might, it might. Look good sitting on the floor. Shouldn't have picked them up. That roll of ours. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go that bad boy. Hold that other side, wait. I have to Just beat. try to hold it straight. It's might have to beat it with hammer, man. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to. <coughs> All right, let me see. Actually, this. I think we're gonna take it in. Oh goodness. I'm gonna have to beat it with a hammer, like you said. Mm. Right there, man. Bend that damn thing. Gotta hold it so it's yeah. straight. All right, let go. Okay, let's go and bang it. Bang, bang. I'm hoping that it stayed where it should, but it probably didn't. It bangs, it bangs. I want to bang it here in the center. Come hold her, Doug. Doug's going to get smart and move that water for us. I'm surprised I haven't tripped over right there. Uh -huh. Turn on the side. Yeah, it's like that. Nice, nice. Let her do. You got a whole brain, hold it up, Doug, so I can look at it. Let's lay it down on the side this way. I want to hammer it right here. Let's lay it on the side, though. Not bad. Let's lay it back on her. That's pretty, <clears throat> a little bit high there. A little high right there, yeah. That's all the way along. Well, so we'll just bang it down here.
We need a little height right there back again, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and we hit it three times for the difference in the day. That needs to be bending. That's good there. Good there. Let's get that running right. That has to be bent right there. That's all. Mm -hmm. That looks good there, all the way on there. Yes, yes, I think it does. Like it's not bad. Just bend it right there a little bit. Yeah. I'll take it, put it in the old, the old machine out there. And then that'll be it. Hopefully. Hopefully. As soon as we take and try to straighten it, then it goes wonky again, like, you know? It very well could. There we go. They basically both got to look the same or, or close to being the same or, you know, I think they do. I can fit that on there, Douglas, will it? How's that fit now? Beautiful. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. If I take and do this, does it change it, help it? It's a little higher right here in the corner. You can like that it's nice yeah I'm gonna go with that that looks pretty good yay I think it does alrighty uh, alrighty welcome back I'm your man bad Chad and we got Doug in the house and <laughs> forgot who I was for a second there right <laughs> well I get mixed up yet. yeah yeah and we we're on air you just watched us try to bend uh, the pipe that Doug rolled in the roller the other day. When you roll it through the roller, you get one continuous nice bend. Uh, we weren't looking for that. And that's what we were looking for. Yeah. We wanted a nice roll to it, but it had to be straighter going up here at the top. And what dictated that was the roof skin itself. It's got a nice roll in the back where that back window was. It's rolling down, if you can remember, right? Nice and flat and come along and roll down nice where the window was. That's where that shape is right here. That's where this shape is. And, and as soon as you come past here, then it becomes quite straight. So to, in order to make something roll that out, I, I'm not quite sure how you would do that unless you've done that manually. I'm not sure. But it is eighth wall thick. It is very thick and it's hard to work with. But me and Doug have matched it. You've seen us build the... Uh, the Bugatti hauler, we did it all that square stock. That's quite thick stuff. Yeah, but we did it So now that we have the roof skin. I'm stepping on my new boots um, Now that we have the roof skins over there skinned and just a sheet of metal um, We put it on there once before I've got this butt welded on here uh, what I was talking to Doug earlier this morning was When the sheet metal for the roof, this is just a, just a thought when we go to put the yeah, sheet metal the for the, the roof on the side for the back, I'm thinking that we might hold the roof up so the metal on the edge of the roof hits this nice. You know, we haven't got that bent down. I can dolly this all down, get it turned down like this up here. I can get it turned down like that a little bit, whatever. But I'm thinking if we had the roof skin and we put that on there and we held the roof up like this so the metal hit against this nice, then we could let it fall and then it would probably... Uh, go in place or the metal will do what it needs to do here bend over twist whatever it needs to do to work And there'll be pressure on that to hold that up if we weld it up like this and push that down Obviously, it's going to pull this rear fender and this quarter panel up and over uh, to give it strength When we connect it here and connect it over here We're really going to have a lot of strength because it's going to be connected inside here and up there So I'm not sure where we're going to go from here from now so basically what's, what's going to go on is uh, I need to measure or put the roof in place it needs to be in. So if I lay the roof on here, I want to know where that back window section hits down here. We're going to grab the back window section. I'm, or not the back window section, sorry, the back, the roof section. And uh, we're going to slide it on there. For sure. You're going to okay. the front side, Douglas. Right. Or the front side. Either open. rather. 
Whatever works. No rush, no rush, no worries. Whatever works. I wheeled this out on the English wheel when uh, everybody was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you lay that on there, doubles, what I'm looking for, are you fitting all right up there? You're like you're, yeah, okay. We've got quite a curve going on there and, and I quite, quite enjoy it to be honest with you. But I like I the curves. See. She's got nice curves. That works good. That works really good. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad, huh? That looks pretty good. Right? That does work good. Yeah. Now I just want to I want to take a make a mark. How far am I coming up before I hit that? I wonder want to hit that. Yeah. Does it matter how far I am up here, Jack? Jack? Well, just a second here. I'll, I'll take a look. I'll take a looky poo poo. Let's 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 bring this piece up to that like pull that right That's into there you can, just, you can just pull it right up in there in just a second that do it for you yes it did okay so i've got a window here in the back don't want to use that <laughs> almost took my two front teeth out trying to pluck that out so i'm basically going to be cutting that right off here because it's got inside construction on there so this is the roof part i'm going to be using no doubt in my mind so I'm just going to transfer somewhere in there and just take a, a measurement and see where I have to know where that steel pipe is going to be welded in here on this trunk piece. Uh, the reason being is um, we want to lay this piece on top of that round stock so it's nice and strong. And uh, let's take this off for a second. Grab my marker cover there. I want to measure from there to there, from there to there, just to know what my opening is in the back, sort of. So if I'm four inches there, four inches there. What do I have left? Good. Good, good, good. Whole wheat shreddies. So, if I put my, my, my round stock, I should be able to put my round stock, what I'm thinking, is right on that side of the line, is what I'm hoping. That gives us 26. I'm going to do this. Mark it three. Mark that up. Mark it three. I put my round stock on this side. All right, Douglas. I want you to hold the round stock here. Um, if you know what I'm saying, I want this, this line here, I want the round stock over that side. So if we put this on here, we're going just like that. So then when we put the, the skin on, we have all this to hold the skin. So the skin's going to come over on top of this. That's what I'm thinking. Does that look straight up? I guess. We'll do the, what's gonna happen is, we'll make the measurement down there. We got the measurement down there because we have the, the body. We have the body to go by, uh, the piece that I put in there. We know that that's where that's at. Then we'll come up here and we'll measure this opening and make it the same as that opening down there. Mm -hmm. Then we know that these are straight. I guess. Yippers. I guess, so that would come up there like so. Um, that's basically what we need to do. One there and one on the other side and then we can tack it. So basically, 
I don't think I need to round this this pipe up here for me to round this pipe and try to make it fit better when I can just weld it up with the with the welder. It's, it's no problem. It's not fitting the best up there. Like say that's not fitting the best either. But I could weld that all the way along there and and not have to shape that or not. That's weld. It would kind of make it fit the best. So I'm going to get the welder going. We're going to tack these bad boys on. We're going to tack one on there tack one on there, we'll get it shoved up here as tight as we can, and then we'll start doing the measuring trick here to, fi to figure out if we're the same distance apart down there, down there as we are up here. We've got the shape, the shape is what told us all, the, the piece of here, <coughs> that, that thing right there is what did it all for us, basically. Um, it took, it made the shape of the roof, is what it did, it made the shape of the roof, that's what we did. Then we took the shape of the roof and put it on the, the quarter panel. Um, so that shape of the roof fits the quarter panel. Then we took this piece, then we made our braces in the middle with this shape. So we know that shape there is for the middle. Um, basically the pattern of the roof has told us what to do. Um, I have a couple other things that I want to do. Um, you want to tack them on now? All right, let's tack them on. Let's get the welder going here, Doug. Yeah, Can we get the welder plugged in? We'll just keep it in the back. And that way we keep it back here, and then I can do both sides at the same time. Mm -hmm. Brand new welding helmet somewhere. What is that noise? The drag is something. Yep. We'll do that. We'll have it in the center. Um, Plug this bad boy in. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to get you to uh, stand up in the middle of the truck or the car. Uh, if you want to go up in through there, Doug, and hold this end. Just, or you can stay in here, actually. All I want done is I want this held tight against this while I tack that down there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tack that down there because I know where the mark is. You're just going to hold up here. We're going to deal with that here in a second or two. So if you want to go on the outside, stand the outside and hold like I was. And then I'll tack it on when I get prepared. I'm a little bit slow for singing this morning. Doug says the heat's good in the shop. He's got sweat running down the crack of his <laughs> That's just exactly what they want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Old small pot. It's nice in here. It's yeah. not cold out. I don't it, find it, it cold out It is nice anyways. in here, is it not? It's, it's, nice, it's nice outside too. As long as the wind's not blowing, we're good. All right. Now. I'm going to want you to hold. Are you up tight against that, Doug? Yes, I am. I do not want it uh, up above what's going on. I want it to come up flush. Like you have yep. um, the top of the square, the top of the round up bar, and the yep. top of this, you want it flush. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Best, the best you can. Yeah. Are you, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Well, that'll be up to... Do I have... Yeah, I have a ground. One thing with uh, round stock, where I've got this planted on here, there's a big gap in there where that welder got to go in there to hit that and knock that on. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Like square stock, it would lay right in there nicely, but I want a nice round edge on that, and uh, that's what I'm using. So are you able? Are you up top there? Are you yeah. good up there? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Up, up, up. Up, up, there, but there somewhere, yeah, that's yeah. where it would be. I want it flush with the top. Um, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to what? Am I going to tack that on or? Let's do this. Let's knock them on with a pair. Let's hold that on with a pair of pliers so we can, good. we can we can do it, deal with it later. Doug said, I'm not going to stand there all day and hold that. We could, I don't mind. We could call Jimbo. He, he said he's good for, what, two days? Two days? Yeah, he can hold something for two days. Wow. Two days. I was thinking that was a long time, wouldn't it? It is a long time to stand there holding something. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he possibly could. Super Jim. Let's grab the other piece there, Douglas. We'll go to the other side. Looks like he's got two fangs hanging off the back. Doing the 
exact same thing as we did on the other side. Doing the exact same thing. Trying to see if we can make it. You got tight, Doug? Yep. Tight as I can get it in below the bar. Snacking it on there. Trying to get it in place. Shut that off. Gonna get Doug something to hold his end. Having a hard time with it, Doug? No. Good, good, no, good. Yeah. Good, whole wheat shreddies. Uh, do you yeah. have another one of those bad boys? We do. We do, we do. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do when Doug runs wild on you? Um, I don't know if we got that going good or not. Don't look. It looks like we might have to cut some of the front off. Do you know what I mean? To get the back up higher? That's what it looks like to me. Like this back here, if we, if we cut some of the front off, we had the front coming up to here, right? Uh, where we lo we're losing shape down there. Mm -hmm. There. Well, that's what I see right from the get-go. We're losing shape. Nobody wants to lose shape. Round's a good shape. Round? Yeah. Let's make tires round. What about body shape? You like round for body shape? Uh, fat people are pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, you like round for a body shape? <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, someone had a square head, they look weird. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I never thought of that time. <laughs> someone had a square head. Um, I'm thinking that this one, this one, has got to come over this way a little bit. Uh, da, 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 just a second now. I'm thinking they also have to have to be cut. Mm -hmm. We're at 28 in the middle of that. Wow! So that you could bring this. You want to unloosen this one? Yeah, we're too we're too far out now. We can't get it over, can we? Oh yeah. Pull it back a little bit. Pull back your way a little bit. Good there. Happy? Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy. I must have a square head. <clears throat> yeah, to me, like one's over for them. That's something that we're going to have to make sure that we get right. Um, first bowl hole. Our first, I'm just looking down inside, in, inside the wheel well. This is where it's bolted up. I just run it straight across and take a take a gander. We're at 11 and a half. Somewhat 11 and a half. And we'll just go over here. And we're at 11. We're not off by much. We're not off by much. That's okay for now. But what I what I am seeing is um, <clears throat> What I am seeing is we're losing shape right here because it's not up far enough. I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut some off. We have we have that shape down the back. You can see it dangling back there like a couple fangs. So we'll bring it up more when we cut some off the end. Well, we have like the, we had we had the pipe up here is what we had it and we had it in shape. Yeah. So if we cut, we'll say eight inches off it, then all this shape down here is going to come up like all this round stuff is going to come up higher which is going to raise the bum up a little bit and this still can be straight but this some of this needs to be cut off so if we cut it off like i said eight inches we know back but yeah so, jolene's in on the conversation now um bring it take it back off put it back on here Yeah. And then we'll know how much to cut off the front. Mm -hmm. So she's cutting it. Does she know what she's talking about, Doug? She usually always does. You know, no. we can't don't doubt Jolene a bit. He's going to give it to you, Jolene. He's going to yeah. give it to you. No doubt. All right. So 
Um, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave one on, tack, take one off, mm -hmm. and then we'll put it back on, and then we'll, we'll go for it. We'll figure it out. <coughs> All right, get a zip cut. Zippy, zippy. Yeah, get the zip cut. Cut that back off. Got a marker in my pocket. We've got a blue, we got another cord over there. You can plug into that blue, maybe that blue one. I'm not sure. Or that yellow one would be better, Doug. Let's go for the yellow one. That'll give us, instead of unplugging everything all the time. We've got a, a few, well, some actually some nice gifts that uh, a fan sent in quite a while ago with the retractable uh, extension cords that come from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Now that all the lights have been changed, it's kind of, they either got to plug in the wall and pull them out, which I don't mind that either, I guess. I probably should get them hooked up and stop being so lazy, but we had them out there on the shelf. Like he sent three really nice retractable extension cords. I, I understand that. Guy. I understand that. <laughs> I understand that. If you want to hold the front, old buddy. Let's, 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 do, let's do what Jolene said. Put it in place. We'll put it on top of this piece. Come back to me. That's where it fits the best. Yeah. That's where it's getting nailed on it. We've got enough to go down past. Oh, that's too boy. Boys, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, it's close. Now, yeah. and we need... Well, we're going to have to cut it off after we get it up there. So if I nail it on there, let's take this off. Put that on there like that. Good job, Julie. Good call. Um, let's put it back over, get going over some, over some. Right? No, come back towards you a little bit. Right about there somewhere. I'll tack that on. And now, yeah, look at the difference there. Huh? Yeah. Big difference. And it's still going to drop again because you're going to put it down on the face of that. But let's, uh, let's tack this on. Down below that. Good, 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 good. Oh, we shreddies. Another thing too, when the tail when the tail comes down, I want enough here. I got to have enough here so that I can roll this down underneath here and come in here to, to connect to this. That's why this piece is flat in here because I did not care. I just want a piece here for when I bring the tail down. I, I got to have something to go to to nail it on, and that's what this this ass end is about right here. I'm going to knock that off up there. That was the way to do it, Jolene. That was it's definitely better than the other side. The thing we got here. The thing you we got can, her here. You can see totally the difference, eh? of how far up that is compared Big to how difference. far that one is Big kind of quite turn. something, eh? Would have made a mess if we wasn't paying attention. Pick it up just a little bit. I just want to go back, see where it's straight, Doug, and that way there we can knock it down. It's not straight, it needs to come knock a little bit out of it. Just knock, take a little bit out of it. Pull it back down again. What are you saying to me on stead? I think where, where it's at there right now, Like I was saying, let's just leave that. Just kind of wondering what's the best way to do that. 
I can cut it off more. Just don't know if I want to cut it off more. If you know what I mean? Like, I want to see if it's straight first. It's not, well, it's, it's not too bad, I guess. But, um, I want to get that fitting down on the front of that. I don't want to rip that weld off anymore. Um, we take it and move it over, still can't get it down on. I'm just going to cut it off again. I'm just going to see if it's straight again. No, I can just cut it off. This thing here needs to be... You want to hold that front piece, Doug? Push it that way a little bit. Push it this way. Yeah. I just want to see if I can get it. Oh, yeah, I can move that after. I'll just cut a little bit more off it. Stop it. How far is it going to get tapped? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I just want to see if it's straight or not. And what can happen is I can take that one off and make that the same as that one. Mm -hmm. We can cut this off and make it the same. I think what's going to happen is where we're so close, I'm going to leave that like that. And then we can push it back just a little tiny bit. I don't mind pushing it back a little bit to make it fit. So I'll snip this one off. We're going to lay this one on top of this one. We'll cut them both the same length. We'll put that up in there, and then wherever it fits down here, it's going to fit. It's just going to push it back a little tiny perfect. bit. Yep. So I'm going to cut this off. I think that's the easiest thing for us to do. What do you think, Jolene? <laughs> Weld it on either. I'm gonna hold this one, Doug. You got it? Yep. Hey, buddy. Bring her on over. Bring her on over, man. All right, I'm gonna knock that sharp piece off first. I'm gonna knock that sharp piece off first. Roof skin, that's all, just pull that back and put it All right, let's, let's get it in, in place of this one. I did not cut anything off the back, let's cut it on top. We're going to cut it the exact same length. Hopefully we're going to have the exact same thing when we're done. Hopefully, I'm hoping. One thing I will say, um, it's nice to have the four inch grinder just again or the zip cuts again because uh, it does it's hard to get a zip cut to go all the way through but we'll clamp those two yeah. no it's good yeah. off on that a little bit with the, with the flapper wheel just to make it pretty.
big noise. Rumbly. All right, I can I can weld them back on, but in all actual fact, I, I know where the mark is down here. I do not know where it's up there. We need to find center up there. Uh, we need to find center. Um, we'll have to take a yeah, tape measure on the other side, Douglas. Please and thank you. Um, how are we going to find center? Everything kind of. We can go grab one, go on this tab and on that tab, and I can get up in there and see if I can mark center. See, let me see that. Backwards, backwards there. We're on what tab? What do we want? One, one outside, 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 outside. What are you outside there, Douglas? Fifty-nine and a half. Fifty-nine and a half. Fifty-nine and a half. What's half? Fifty-nine and a half. 60 be 30. Yeah, Paul, it's, 50, it's like 59. No. Are you holding it tight? Because <laughs> <laughs> they keep moving let's it. Take, let's do this one then. Let's, let's do this one here. Try this inside piece. And you're going to this inside tab here? Yeah. What's that yeah. one say? So it's 54 and a quarter. So. Uh, and what? I haven't got my glasses on. I want to get the center of this piece right here, if you know what I'm trying to say. That's that's what I want to get center of. So you want to go from center bar to center bar? Um, we have a a plumb ball. If if we did this, if we did this, if we hooked from here, you want to come down here, Douglas? If we hooked from here, right underneath of it, on this this square stock, to that square stock. And uh, we're pretty straight there, are we, Doug? Yeah, you know, straight with the floor? Go straight with the floor if you can. Yeah, it looks to be. Is it straight with the floor? Looks to be. That's what we want. We're going to be straight with the floor. And if I had a plumb ball, then I could find, I could mark, get center. So you hold that for a second. I'm going to get a plumb ball. Kind of hard to know center when. Do I have? I have a plumb ball, I just don't know where it's at. It's right where you left it. I know it is. You know, that somewhat could be true and could not be true. We did use it on the... Uh, what? We did use it on the Bugatti Hall. Is it in there, is it, I wonder? Did we use it on the Bugatti Hall? We did. We did. Huh. Right where you left it, I know it is. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> it's in Nathan's pocket. Look at home. All right. Almost 58 right on. Stepping on this floor so it goes bow. I don't like that. Wow. All right, so you've got that tape straight on the floor, have you? Yeah. Like if you've got it straight it's along straight. with the edge of the floor? It looks straight to me. Okay, man. buddy, I'm okay. Now, what's your, what's your measurement, Doug, from outside to, to this? Outside. This is uh, 55 and three quarters. 55 yeah. three quarters. What's the center of 55 three quarters, sweetheart? 27.87. What's that mean? 27.87. <laughs> like 27. Okay, so what, time, what is it? 55 and what? 55 and three quarters. So 27 and 27 would be 44. No, 54. And to get three quarters, we need three eighths. Three eighths, three eighths, three eighths, three and three eighths. That'd be right, wouldn't it? What do you mean, no? 27, three eighths is center, isn't it? Yes, no. Maybe so. Don't know. All right, well, I'm going to change. We'll figure it out here in a second. I'm going to go there. Center. Pretty good with that. That's pretty good. So give me 
here. I'm taking it out. So if I say that's, what have I got down here? Come on. What's that mark to that? 26 and 3 quarters? No, yeah, yeah. it's that one. Yeah. We want 28, didn't we? Uh, 28. You're right. Yeah, 28. Yeah. So if I went up here, the center of 28 is, what, 6, what? Things get, and I find things get, what can I say? Start using the old tape measure sometimes. It gets complicated, doesn't it? Trying to figure it out. And to me, I like, it looks good well. That's great, yeah. That looks good well. That's what I like. So we have two pieces of round stock here now. We <laughs> sort of know where we're going now. This is going, Doug, you're going right on the outside of that line, old brother. You know what I'm saying? On the yep. side of that line, Yippers. and I'm going on the outside of my line. We're going to weld that bad boy on there. You got a hold of it? Okay. And it doesn't, you know, it, we're tacking it on for, uh, see if we got it right, or going for it. So you good, are you up there? I'm good, man. Okay. Got a pair of clamps to clamp your thing on? I do, I do. Down there, you reach. Man. Good. That's good that enough. Just holding it, okay. trying to get it deep in place. Let's do the other one. You want to grab the other one, go for the other side? Got enough room down here. We got enough metal in there. We can cut it off there a little bit so if we come down. We got enough going on there. I've got to have enough meat down there. If we don't have enough meat down there, well, that's that's the bad thing. Let's get it straight. We're straight enough for now. Take and knock that over there a little bit. Now, can't see. Douglas, let's turn this. Yeah, go ahead. Talk it on. Barely holding. Little in on your line, but that doesn't matter for right this, this second. Yeah. We're not nailing it on. We're just taking a look at what we're doing. We looky poo pooing. Alrighty, that looks that looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, what's going on? So what does it look good? Oh yes. So I'm just going to go over here. I want to take a look and see. Oh wow, looks yeah, really good. It does. Yeah. And basically, what we're looking for, if the, if our if our round stock is really in shape with our sides of our of our car, and they really are. They really look really good. There's a nice distance if you get down to me. I think there's a nice distance comes underneath there all the way along, which makes it look really good. I think there's a nice distance. So what's going to have to happen is we'll tack those on a little bit better and make sure they are in place. But they do really do look good. So it goes on there like that. That gives us something to lay our roof skin on. And then we're going to go from there. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. It took a little bit of time um, to get... That looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, it took a little All bit right. of time to get the, the round stock fitting the back. Yeah. Um, you cannot just put it through roller and make it work. You have to, you have to go by eye. It's like arts and crafts. We're really actually um, playing with the art of the car. And the reason being is we are using stuff um, that was not supposed to be there. And we are making things by eye. And that's what we're doing. And it becomes a lot of fun when you're doing it that way. But I really feel like we got something going on that we can con connect the metal to. You come back tomorrow and we'll be doing the exact same thing. We'll be working on uh, the car 
and uh, we'll be just going forward with it. You know, we cut it all apart, and then now we got to use our brain to put it all back together. And you must think, if you know, if I'm in the shop here, and I'm and I'm, my brain is on this stuff, no idle hands. You know, the devil's broth no. gets nothing out of me because I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work. And if you get a project, it'll do the exact same thing for you. So if Idle hands is the devil's bra for you sometimes. Get out and get an old car and cut the roof off it. Have fun with it. It does not have to do anything other than make you happy. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here.